Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness, and we are here in Tree Shroud Forest, a uh, magical place of magical music. It's actually very, very calm in this dungeon. Anyway, this is uh, me and PTM, part of CSS, obviously. Hi. Uh, now, Tree Shroud Forest, it, uh, um, <clears throat> it has 20 floors, the longest dungeon thus far. 20 floors not counting the final floor, the, um, you know, but 20 dungeon floors. Um, there are traps, there are no rest stops. You can recruit Pokemon, but only after the credits roll, so uh, no recruiting right now. <laughs> the main type is Psychic. Uh, you can find Kadabras, Raltzes, uh, Cherium, Cher Cherum, I don't know how you pronounce Cherum. that, uh, Houndoom, Houndoom, Ninetales, Alakazam, Curlia, and Vespaqueen. So. I have to mention this, because we tried doing a recording of this dungeon before. And last episode, Mega used the term Tree Shroud Fortress. No, no, see, see, I was, I was being good this time. You yeah, can't, you well, can't, you, 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 you I, can't, I have no, to. no, see. I have to reference that. Well, see, then, then I could tell your deep, dark secret. What? Your deep, deep, dark secret. What? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't want them to know what you're talking about. I don't have, I don't. Secrets are no fun. I don't have any secrets. It's so secret that I'm not going to say it until um, an opportune moment. But yes, there is a secret for what the PTM has. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's even secret to me. So. It's so secret that no one knows what it is. <laughs> even the person who had the secret doesn't even know what his secret is. Um, so yeah, this touch is not too bad. Yeah, only problem Pokemon I've had is Nine Tails. Yeah, yeah, PTM is playing. I don't know if we mentioned that. Yes. Um, um, <laughs> so yeah, as of last episode, I have taken over as the player of this game. Unfortunately, I, I would have done this section so much better. But you are exploring. That is good. Don't uh, worry, Mega. I'll get you back for that. What? Sometime. Get back for what? I would have done this floor better. I would have. I would have done every floor better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get back with you on that tomorrow. Okay, who is the smart partner who was willing to adapt and is Groval's partner, and who was the partner who, for the whole future segment, thought that Dustnor was still good? Which one of the partners has character development? I rest my case. I'll give you that. But you're still a dumbass. Um, so that anyway, does. you can have you can have character development and still be a dumbass. <laughs> so anyway, um, what else to talk about? Um, another thing to mention is definitely be using gummies at this point. I mean, th and also be fighting Pokemon because it's really good to. Lo uh, you can actually get some good experience off some of these Pokemon, and it's really good to. I don't think this dungeon is difficult, but uh, one of the later ones can be a bit tricky, so it's good to get experience now while it's not too hard. Um, and definitely make sure to um, use gummies because you can get some good IQ skills. Uh, one of the ones that I don't think we have, but I know is really useful is PP Saver. Because um, I played, I, again, I played ahead and I, I, Pikachu doesn't have it at the moment, but if you keep using gummies not too much longer, Pikachu will get a PP Saver, which basically lets you... Uh, use a move without using PP, and that's very handy. Oh, Houndoom. Yeah, Houndooms are not tough at all. That Brick Break fighting type move, super effective. Yeah, but you used, Kills him a one hit. But, but he was killed by Thunderbolt. Or Lightning Bolt, or whatever it was. Hey, Lightning kills. Sometimes. Lucas. See, well, you know what, no, I'm not even going to go there, because I was going to question how any Pokemon can survive the moves, but, see, I like questioning things, even though I know there's no real good answer, just to see what people are going to say, or to see what you can come up with. I don't question things because that's not, like, I don't question illogical things like Pokemon, because I actually want an answer more so, because I just want to see, you know, what people can come up, you know, see the imagination, see what answers can be come up with. For this specifically, I do question other things that do have answers, but um, that's one of those things that you can't really go anywhere with with something that illogical, like how they can survive the moves, unless you just end up like a ridiculous kind of story. That's like 
It's more of a one-time question of, they shouldn't be able to survive this, and then you just move on. Blastoise goes up to Pikachu and says, Did you know I've been struck by lightning seven times? <laughs> I mean, by that logic, then, these Pokemon should be really good at winning the lottery, because, um, isn't it more like, well... It's more likely to win the, to get struck by lightning than it is to win the lottery. But if they can get struck by lightning, so well, it's not act. Well, you know, I'm, yeah, it's not actual lightning. It's, it's just astronomical. Artificial. It's a miraculous. I don't know where I was going with that because it's artificial lightning. So mm. it's not official. <laughs> it's not officially licensed and branded. Lightning. Well, no, I said it's artificial, as in it's not like generated by the sky. It's generated by the Pikachu. Oh. Oh, I thought you said official, like... <laughs> well, it wouldn't P be. Pikachu Lightning, the official <laughs> lightning of uh, Pokemon Stadium, or something like that. Oh, I'm tired. Yes, you are. So am I. We are recording this at late in the evening. Oh, it's not not, not quite midnight. What? Well, well see, okay, you know what? Late in the evening to me is like 4. Okay. 4, four a.m., that is, not 4 p.m. Who's Who wakes up late in the afternoon and goes to sleep? Like it when everyone's asleep. Santa, I don't Santa Claus. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. No, you usually wake up in the afternoon. I don't right? know. I I don't try to. I just have really bad sleeping patterns. Cause I even when I cause I want to wake up during the day and I just can't. It's like you could live in Japan, have a normal sleep cycle. Yep. Yeah, well. Well, no, I don't know how that. Cause Japan is technically not reverse, but their time. I don't know how it's that would work. It's tomorrow over there right now. Yeah, I don't know how... I don't know, I wish I could figure out how to, uh, how all the sleep tricks. Because I have a hard time getting to sleep, and then once I'm asleep, I sleep forever. And then sometimes, like, okay, one time I, I stayed up all night to, you know, reset my sleep schedule. To an extent. Went to bed at a proper time at midnight, which, yeah, it's a proper time for me. But, uh, I ended up sleeping till 4 p.m. That doesn't make sense. 16 hours of sleep? Yeah, I don't see, and, and, and that's just, and then there's sometimes where I'll go to sleep at, you know, 7 and wake up at 2 in the morning. Like That should really concern me. It does concern hours. me, and then I get, six... well, then I get people criticizing me saying, oh, well, you should just be more mature or something like that, or, oh, well, well why are you just, you know, they, they act like it's something that I'm just being immature or I'm just being lazy about, and then I get criticized because I've missed classes occasionally. It's like, look, it's not something that I choose to do. It's just something that happens, and I obviously need to find a solution, but it's not like, it's not easy, because I've tried a lot of things. Hey, you know they've invented this great thing called the alarm clock. I sleep through it. <laughs> oh, they I have these alarm clocks? I slept a fire clocks, alarm. But they have these alarm clocks. These They're making these unique alarm clocks that have different mechanisms on it. One of them, when the alarm goes off, there's like a mini little uh, helicopter blade that flies off the top of the, the alarm clock, and it keeps beeping. It flies around the room, and you have to catch it and turn it off. Well, maybe. I don't know. I think the thing is, I think I get used to stuff. Because, I mean, to be fair, um, okay, I know sometimes I'll wake up, I'll, I'll hear alarm, and then I'll shut it off. But then I started putting the alarm across the room, so I'd have to get up and get it. And then I eventually just stopped going up, so I would sleep through the alarm. I've slept through a fire alarm. I've slept through, um, a dog, dog barking. I, I sleep through, if someone physically touches me or something that sometimes wakes me up, but I'm just a really heavy sleeper, which sucks. I'd rather be able to get to sleep easily and not be a heavy sleeper, personally, because then I could take naps all the time. Because you could, like, take a two-hour nap, but, like, with me, a two-hour nap turns into a five-hour or six, eight, twelve. Yeah. I miss when I could do. I could do that. It's hard for me to even get in a one out. Get in a one hour nap sometimes. I just. Yeah. I don't, I'm not. I'm a heavy sleeper, and it sucks. It, it kind of sucks. But then again, the grass is always greener on the other side. Oh, cliches. Yes, but it's a true cliche. It's a true cliche. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I heard it. You know, <laughs> you have your own faults, man. You you can't. I do. Hey, I do. I do. I mean, I'm Pikachu. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. Crochet, man. I I never done one of those before. I I can't either. Dude. Well, I probably could if I learned. Really, the thing with me is I can learn. Well, not anything, but once I once someone shows it to me, like specifically how to do it step by step. I can learn it pretty easily. I'm a fast learner when it comes to things. 
Um, at I least wish P at wish least PK was more like that. Well, at least well, yeah, at least things in black and white. PK's not like that. PK's. PK yeah, I mean, I wish I wish PK would just sit down with like a mentor and be like, look. This is how you make an episode of Ogre Battle. Yeah, if he doesn't want to make Ogre Battle, he doesn't have to. No, he doesn't have to. We rag on him. See, even in this, I think in every single Let's Play we've made on CSS, we've made this, that joke's been cracked. Yeah, Isn't I don't know. Funny? P PK, PK deserves better. We should have PK Day. Someone eats <laughs> pasta. He's, he's the PK the city deserves, not the one it needs. I, I actually finally watched that movie. Oh, which, all of them, or the, no, just the, the first the Dark, second the Dark one. Knight? Yeah, because I never saw it before, because I was lazy. See, I I, have to, I keep forgetting that it's there's Batman It's Batman Begins first. That's the first movie, Begins, and then it's I, the Dark Knight. Yeah, I've Knight. seen Begins. Begins is okay. Um, I do prefer Dark Knight. Uh, I, yeah, I, I saw it recently. The thing is, I prefer episodic things, is the thing. I don't like... With movies, just they're all one long thing, right? I prefer things, because... And I thought it was... I, I didn't like the length. But I've been watching, like, Doctor Who and Monk, actually, recently, and those are, like, 40-minute, almost hour-long programs, and I've been watching those one right after another, so it's not length. It's the fact that I like, like episodic things in nature, um, over movies, and I, I think episodic things are superior in some ways. They're not, doing that not kind of with Hawkeye. With, with what? With the Avengers, you mean? Yeah, like, Hawkeye doesn't have his own, um movie, so they're making a six-part thing. I don't know if, I don't know if you'd call it a six-part movie, but there's six parts to it. The, but see, there's something, there's different, there's a difference between episodic and having sequels. Like, for example, the Shrek series, there's four movies in that. That, uh, to me, and I guess Puss in Boots if you count that, that's not episodic, that's a sequel. Episodic is like, this is one thing and there's different parts of this one thing. Where uh, Shrek 1 and Shrek 2, or like Godfather 1 Godfather 2, they're two separate parts that connect, not one thing that has separate parts of that. Like so, Ice Age 2. Yeah, basically movie sequels are actually like sequels. Even even Harry Potter, which is a book series, it's not. it, it reads more as separate, you know, this is one thing, this is another thing. Whereas episodic, yeah. they... I guess the thing is there's no conclusion until all the episodes are done, whereas with like any movie... You watch the one movie even without watching the sequel, and you can be satisfied with that one movie because it was pretty close. Even if they have a cliffhanger a little bit, it's still there's a satisfaction in watching one movie. Whereas with something that's episodic, you're not gonna be satisfied fully until it's all done. And I kind of like having more left. I like again, I like epi episodes. They're cool. We need to have like a, in the bottom of the video have like episodic episode counter. How many times it's been said this episode? episode oh my episode, goodness, episode, I said episode. Episode, episode, episode. Episodic episode. But would you say it's kind of, I don't know, like they're, they're all loosely tied only by name and by maybe a few of the characters, but everything else is completely different. In terms of... Like, the story. Like, okay, Harry Potter, for instance. Well, okay, you, like... You have, the, you have the main cast, and then you have a few supporting characters that, that carry over. But then you have a completely different story. I, it's something like that. I'm not sure how to describe it. It because uh, I know. Okay, like a lot of anime are very. Are, there's a ton of different episodic things too. There's episode like things for like a lot of Western cartoons, which kind of you watch one episode and it's just like the silly thing, and you want like SpongeBob. You watch one episode and it has no connection, but you kind of there's something about episodic things. I don't know if it's the characters. They just, they feel like, you know, you have that, and then you have, like, anime, which has a cohesive uh, ending, a cohesive story at the end, and then you have, um, you know, stuff like Doctor Who, where each episode is its own self-contained, but they all have a, kind of a connecting thing together, overarching. I kind of understand what you're saying, but I, I, here we go, Tree Shroud. Yeah. I guess my thing is, though, I don't know, something about episodes just makes them nicer to watch for me. Um, but yeah, surprisingly, Tree Shroud is still stopped in time, but the time gear's back, so it shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. But I think we've already answered this. Oh, is this a good use of flashback or no? Um, I'm gonna allow it because Groval is there. Well, wait, no, Groval was in the... You know what, no, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> okay. 
Well, Grovar kind of already answered our question about this. The Time Gears are back. But, the Time Gears' presence doesn't necessarily mitigate the fact that time is stopping. So he already mentioned Temporal Tower. Basically... Something. Basically, Time Gears, no go there. Go tower. Well, basically, something's happening. To the, the tower is starting to collapse. That's basically what's going to happen. Meaning, we have to hurry. Oh, oh no, don't do that. That's, Why? It's dumb. No. It's, is everything's it? turning dark. Everything was dark. But it's darker. It's also, yeah, I'll admit, the partner right here is like, what are you doing? It's like, we came here for the Time Gear. Of course we got to take it, even if time wasn't going to stop. So maybe, not... he, maybe he had like a uh, an instant where he was he was back and where Grobile was evil. Time gears need to stay where they are. Yeah, I'm he a... had like a a fleeting like moment where he forgot what was going on. Okay, this right here, he sends PTM to Treasure Town to gather information. How does he go into Treasure Town without anyone knowing he's there? Well, and, first... and he has to talk to someone. So. Who does he talk Here, to? You, you wear like those, you know those like those sack like I, I, with the with the hood and and then you go like, hey, so uh, what's going on with the time gears? Have like a rasp, I, raspy voice. Uh, there's, uh, the only thing I come up with is he's talking to one of the teams that just like one of the uh, Avenger teams that don't come around much. But other than that, how? There's no way he could go into Treasure Town, ask about time gears, and not have. A single person know who he is. Well, we haven't visited Marowak, so he could go to Marowak. <laughs> we could ask. go to Marowak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, basically, if top, if top, it's top's timing. It's it's st <laughs> Time is stopping. Yes. Oh yeah, temporal tower is collapsing. Yep. Temporal tower gives structure to time. So we need to rebuild that structure somehow. So what are we gonna do? Let's think about that for a minute. We you know what we gotta do. We gotta get all the time gears and put them in the tower. We've known this forever. Gonna, what are we gonna do here? We, but we know what to do. We know what to do. Oh, I remember. I remember now. Those time gears have to go back into Temporal Tower. That's what's that's what's going on. Yep. Oh, and we gotta find the hidden land. Basically, the Temporal Tower is in hin the hidden land, and this is where we need to go. How the heck are we going to find something that's hidden? That's we don't know, because that's the thing, it's the hidden land. No one knows where it is. So then what are they going to call it after we find it? The, the found land. New, new, <laughs> new, new <Finland>. found <laughs> land. Newfoundland. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yep, so once we find it, we will now name it Newfoundland. <laughs> that's going to be great. I can't wait for that. Okay, so it's across the sea. Basically, Groval is going to go collect the rest of the time gears. And we're going to go and try and figure out where the hidden land is. So that's going to basically be the rest of this game: is finding the hidden land and getting to the tower. That's pretty much it at this point. Yep. So, <laughs> where are we going to start looking? Yeah, we have nothing to go on. Well, we have to cross the sea, so let's go to the beach. <laughs> yes, stepping on the beach. Do 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 do. do, do. <laughs> huh. And this is the extent of the partner's brilliance. Let's go to the beach. Now what? <laughs> it's like, let's make sand castles. Yeah! We could do like in Super Mario Sunshine, where the castle leads to... No, that's actually... I wonder if that's how it works. Make a sand castle, enter the door, and now we're in the hidden one. No, that's not how it works. But it's we do... Magical sand. But, but me, being the genius that I am, is going to come up with an idea. Or really an obvious thing to do, but... Is it really that obvious, though? It is, and I don't know why we didn't do it in the first place, because, come on, of course they're gonna... Let's go to Treasure Town! <laughs> no, you, gotta go to, you can't say that, but you'll just end up saying go to Willie really Tough's Guild. Yeah. So, it's like, let's go to Treasure Town. I already went there. <laughs> I went there, somehow, and no one noticed me. It's like, forever alone, Pikachu. So we are worried about the fact that they obviously are still under the impression that Dustin is good, but... We don't have much of a choice. We need someone to help. Um, so we just gotta trust that they will believe us. And it's like, they'll believe! Will they? Well, we'll, see. we'll see. Well, I mean, come on, they, they saw us get grabbed by Dusnor. They had to at least have some in inkling that we... Are you sure they saw that part? They, did, they, wait, they were all in front of us! Yeah, well, they, they, they may have, like, 
They may have heard a noise to the to their left, and they would have looked over there. No, like, what was they, that noise? No, and then no. the next second, oh, we were gone. <laughs> they, no, they clearly saw us. Bidu even we, commented. We need a flashback. No, to no, confirm this. no. <laughs> we don't right, need any more flashbacks. All right, Pikachu, let's let's have those flashbacks. Okay, so we are going to go to the guild to have um, them help us in finding the hidden land. So thus begins the last um, segment of this. I love how your eyes are just glowing there. <laughs> Next so time, we're going to go back to the guild and enlist reinforcements. See you guys.